What's going on, Leaf Nation? Welcome to episode number three of Leaf Talk with Tyler. I am your host, Tyler Hill, and today we're going to be talking about the playoffs. That's right, playoffs. The ever-elusive playoffs. Eight years, seven seasons, the Leafs have not made the cut for the playoffs. When I was growing up, watching the Leafs play, the thought of making the playoffs never even came across my mind. It was just what they did every year in the playoffs, in the playoffs, in the playoffs. Then we have the lockout, we have the salary cap. We lose a bunch of guys that we can't afford under the salary cap. The game opens up, we lose guys like Ty Domi that can't skate with these young guys, these fast guys in the new NHL. And then when we finally came back from the lockout, the Leafs didn't make the playoffs. And this was the first time I'd ever seen that. And it happened again and again for seven seasons. But this time, it's different. With eight games left, the Leafs aren't on the outside looking in, saying, we need to get this many wins to get the playoff spot. We're saying, we need four wins to clinch a playoff spot. That's right. Just four wins will guarantee the Leafs a playoff spot this year. Right now, with eight games left, Toronto has 49 points. If they win four of those eight, they'll have 57 points. There's four main teams the Leafs have to create some separation between to clinch a playoff spot. Those teams are Winnipeg, New Jersey, Buffalo, and Philadelphia. So let's start with Winnipeg, sitting in ninth spot right now. They've got seven games left for a total of 14 points available to them. If the Leafs get those four wins, that'll create 15 points of separation, meaning Winnipeg could not eliminate Toronto from the playoffs or take their spot. Then you got to move down to New Jersey, who also with seven games left, has 14 points up. Leafs winning those four games would create 17 points of separation between the teams, meaning New Jersey would be out of the running. Buffalo has eight games left, meaning they have 16 available points in those games. Should the Leafs win these four games, they would create 19 points of separation. Then you're looking at Philadelphia. They have nine games left meaning there's a total of 18 points available if they win every game. But with the four wins, Toronto would have 20 points separation from them, meaning none of those four teams, Winnipeg, Buffalo, New Jersey, and Philadelphia, cannot take their spot. And with only three teams tied for 6th, 7th, and 8th place, those four teams being eliminated from taking Toronto out means they would be guaranteed a playoff spot. So that's the magic number, guys. Four wins, Toronto will be in the playoffs for the first time in seven seasons. A lot of people were really worried when Lupo went down, though, thinking that we wouldn't be able to get the scoring done. But big props to Phil Kessel. I'm not the biggest Kessel fan, but he's really stepped up in Lupo's absence. James Reimer has to be getting a lot more confidence, too. He's been making a lot of starts consistently in the last few games, and he must know that he is now the team's number one goalie. There's no confusion. It's not Reimer and Scrivens. It's Reimer all the way. and He's going to take us to the postseason. So, the question on people's mind has got to be, even if the Leafs do make the playoffs, which it is very likely that they will this year, how far could they go with the team they have? And there's just so many different scenarios you'd have to cover. They could fall down into any of the bottom three spots. If they fell into sixth place, they could be playing Winnipeg or Washington. If they maintain fifth spot, they're either going to be playing, most likely, Boston or Montreal. And either of those teams is going to be a tough competitor. So for that question, I'm just going to let you have to use your imagination. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Leaf Talk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, go back and watch my other videos, and follow me on Twitter where I'll be tweeting live during all the Maple Leaf games. You can find the link in the description below. Check out my blog. You can find that in the link below as well. And go Leafs go! By the way, guys, the hat and sunglasses, I, I just got these the other day. I'm not really sure if I like them yet. I could just use some feedback. Just let me know what you think.